एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर श्री वनला टूडेज टॉपिक इज कॉम्पाउंड ओडोंटोमा एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स ओडोंटोमा कॉम्पाउंड एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स ओडोंटोमा इट इज अ नॉन एग्रेसिव लीशन दैट इज मोर लाइकली टू बी हेमाटोमा दैन ए न्यूरोप्लास्टिक ग्रोथ वॉट इज हेमाटोमा Hematoma is a benign developmental malformation where there is abnormal proliferation or disorganized mass of cells in the local tissue that resembles neoplasm of the local tissue which is usually due to overgrowth of multiple apparent cells Characteristics of compound odontoma Bag of teeth appearance multiple small tooth like structures having enamel dentin pulp and cementum in a well organized pattern is seen in compound odontoma characteristics of complex odontoma sun burst like appearance enamel and dentin are arranged in a disorganized pattern etiology trauma local trauma or infection may lead to production of such lesion genetic they are inherited or are due to mutant gene or interference possibly postnatal with genetic control of tooth development mechanism differentiation of epithelial and mesenchymal cells Both the epithelial and mesenchymal cells exhibit complete differentiation with the result that functional ameloblasts and odontoblasts form enamel and dentin. Pattern It is laid down in an abnormal pattern because of failure of cells to reach the morpho differentiation stage. Lesion is composed of more than one type of tissue for this reason it is called as composite odontoma. compound composite odontom in some composite odontoms the enamel and dentin are laid down in such a fashion that the structure bears a considerable anatomical resemblance to that of normal teeth except they are often smaller than the typical teeth which have been termed as compound composite odontom complex composite odontom when calcified dental tissues are simply arranged in an irregular mass bearing no morphological similarity even to rudimentary tooth then that form is called as complex composite odontom clinical features age and sex more commonly seen in first and second decade of life and a slight predilection for occurrence in males sight Compound odontoma occurs in incisor and canine area of maxilla. Complex odontoma occurs in mandibular first and second molar area. Unusual situation includes the maxillary sinus, inferior border of the mandible, ramus and condylar region. Frequency. Compound odontoma is twice as common as complex odontoma. Size. Compound odontoma is 1 to 3 cm in diameter and is and it is usually remains small. Diameter of the mass only occasionally increases more than that of the tooth. Only occasionally increases. Symptoms. Patient may notice alveolar swelling in the jaw. The swelling will cause facial asymmetry. In some cases signs of infection may be present. signs it is common for a tooth or teeth to be absent from the arc in the presence of an odontoma on palpation expansion of the jaw may be noticed teeth impaction malpositioning diastema aplasia malformation and duration of adjacent teeth are associated with 70% odontoma development of cyst Sometimes cyst develops in relation with a complex odontom and compound odontom but it is very rare Radiographic features 
Generally, it is situated between the roots of the teeth. It appears as an irregular mass of calcified material surrounded by narrow radiolucent bands with a small outer periphery. Compound composite odontom shows number of teeth like structures in the region of canine. There is cluster of small shapeless dense masses of solid tissue having equal or more density depending on the size of the mass. There may be many masses each of which has own dark line surrounding it. In some cases there may be presence of two or more teeth like masses having conical enamel capped crowns with fusion of the radicular portion. If only few teeth are present, a periodontal and pericoronal characteristic of unerupted teeth may be discernible on the each individual teeth. If large number of teeth are present, the radiopac mass is surrounded by a radiolucent line that represents the pericoronal space of the unerupted teeth. Borders are well defined in both the cases but vary from smooth to irregular and may have hyperostatic borders. Complex composite odontome appears as a dense radiopac object sometimes lying in clear space. Density is greater than that of bone and greater than or equal to the teeth. It shows a well defined radiolucency containing irregular masses of calcified tissue. It is associated with unerupted teeth. Cystic odontoma. Cystic complex odontome. It will reveal the solid mass of the odontome but without any associated unerupted tooth. There is dark shadow which represents the cystic cavity and it has well defined and cortical margins except when infection supervenes. Cystic compound odontome. There is an area of bone destruction which appears as a dark shadow having well defined margins lined by a thin white layer of cortical border. Within the cystic cavity, there are numerous white opacities which vary in size and shape. In some cases, there are small amorphous granular densities scattered throughout the cavity. And in some cases, there are small denticles with enamel caps or without any distinction of the component mass. Histopathology Histologically, the, uh, the odontome is composed of dentin, cementum, pulpal tissue and enamel. However, mature enamel is lost during the decalcification processing and will not be seen on the conventional hematoxicillin and uh, eosin strained slides. Compound composite odontome recapitulates the organization of a normal tooth. The denticles are embedded in a fibrous connective tissue and have fibrous capsule. Complex composite odontome appears as a disorganized mass of the hard odontogenic tissues but frequently with a radial pattern. The pulp is usually finely branched so that the mass is perforated like a sponge by small branches of pulp. Sometimes show presence of gauze cells. Differences between compound and complex type. Compound odontome has more than one fragment while in complex it is one solid mass. Compound is seen most commonly in maxillary canine and incisor region while complex is more commonly seen in mandibular molar area. Differential diagnosis. Cementifying or ossifying fibroma. Odontoma is associated with unerupted molar teeth and more radiopac than fibroma and discovered at much younger age than fibroma. Next, adenomatoid odontogenic tumor. Rarely as opaque as the complex type and found in association with maxillary canines. Next, periapical cemental dysplasia. 
smaller than complex type and is limited to mandibular anterior region. Next, calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor. Rare, less opaque and develops in the midline. Next, fibrous dysplasia. Mottled or smoky pattern, poorly defined borders. Next, diagnosis. Clinical diagnosis, not specific. Radiological diagnosis. Compound shows shapeless mass of tooth structure while complex show disorganized mass of tooth structure. Library diagnosis. Biopsy shows multiple tooth structures containing loose fibrous matrix in compound type and in mature, uh, and in, and mature tubular dentin in complex type. Management. Local excision. Simple local surgical excision is the treatment of choice. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.